வெல்கம் டு தி வீஸ்ட் எக் இகாம் நம்ம இந்த வீடியோவில் டிசைன் ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் எம்பிடட் சிஸ்டம் டிசைன் தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ எந்த ஒரு எம்பிடட் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் நம்ம டிசைன் பண்ணாலும் அதோட பேசிக் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிசைனிங் என்ன அப்படிங்கிறது தான் இந்த வீடியோ ஃபுல்லாக நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம் பிஃபோர் கெட்டிங் இன் டூ த ஆக்சுவல் டிசைன் ப்ராசஸ் நமக்கு ரெண்டு டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் அப்ரோச்சஸ் நமக்கு தெரிஞ்சிருந்துருக்கணும் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அப்ரோச் என்ன அப்படின்னா ஃப்ரம் த டாப் டு டவுன் டிசைன் லைக் வி ஹாவ் டு கான்சென்ட்ரேட் ஃப்ரம் த பேசிக் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் டு த மேக்ஸிமம் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் ஐ மீன் வித் த மோஸ்ட் ஹையஸ்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் நம்ம வந்து எடுத்துருக்கணும் ஸோ அது வந்து டாப் டவுன் டிசைன் அதே வந்து ஃப்ரம் பாட்டம் அப் டிசைன் லைக் வி நீட் டு டாக் அபவுட் த ஹையஸ்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் டு த லீஸ்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ இந்த ரெண்டு அப்ரோச்சஸில் நீங்கள் எது வேணா யூஸ் பண்ணி உங்களோட Embedded applications and you can design it. So, I just want to give you a proper introduction to the design process. Like you need to list down the tasks to be performed at each steps. Right? The first thing is you need to talk about the analyzed parameters. Like that will help you to determine the specification that we need to met. So, the second thing is to refine. Because when you uh, talk about this refine part, multiple parameters will be available in the internet. Among that, you need to identify the right thing that is going to suit for your embedded application. So, refining is the important parameter that always you need to keep in mind and verify after refining you need to check whether the selected application will suit your i mean uh, it is going to work clearly for the application or not so you need to verify the refined parameters so analyze refine and verify has to be uh, taken care at each stage i mean each step of the design process now getting into the six major steps of design process we'll start with the levels of abstraction so we need to talk about the basic parameters hardware requirements integrations this will be concentrated in level 1 and the second step is regarding the hardware and software components see designing an embedded system is like you need to concentrate on the integration between hardware and software so depend i mean deciding on the hardware and software components also means a lot to us so second step one it is based on the hardware and software components and the third thing is about the extra functional properties for example if i am taking a microprocessor it should not only be concentrated on the performance it should do some multiple tasking as well similarly whatever the hardware and software components we choose for the application it, it must have some extra functional properties that will serve the user right so that is the third thing that you need to keep in mind and the fourth thing is system related family of designs for example if you have a chocolate vending machine you need to analyze the other family related designs that you can target in the market so that is the fourth important step and the fifth step is the modular design so modular design will help you to decide where the components has to be placed how compact the designs can be maintained that is the fifth step and the sixth, sixth step is regarding the map uh, mapping right you after uh, after uh, putting the components at the right place you need to map all these components to complete the entire design so these are the six major steps in the design process of embedded systems so you need to start from the level of abstraction and then you need to end up with the mapping part so the next thing is you need to concentrate on the performance functionality cost and the power consumption and also we'll talk about other requirements as like physical size uh, structure even the color of the uh, device so these are the things that every one of us know and already we have discussed this in our channel i'll give you the link in the description and this a uh, flow chart will tell you uh, about the levels of abstraction right so uh, the six steps that we have seen in the previous part is regarding the entire design process and this five steps that you are seeing right now on the screen will help uh, will help you know about the levels of abstraction alone so levels of abstraction starts from the requirements then with the specifications then the architecture component design and the system integration so requirements is ingrad vandu romba basic ana or step right requirements is enna nalla irukku enna nalla theva abdin you need to list it down that is requirements is identifying the right specifications of the selected requirements is, is the second step and architecture so people epovume applications ninga eludumbodu enna the ports la enna na interface pannano abdin namak therinjirundirukano so identifying with the right port interfacing can be done only with architecture understanding so architecture of 8085 8086 is available in our channel the link will also be available in the description and the fourth thing is regarding the component design because people you if you're being if you love to become a designer then you need to understand how the component are to be manufactured so that is the fourth step and the integration uh, believe me that embedded systems is very important only then you perform this integration at a very high range 
okay so that the most important and the final stage of this levels of abstraction is system integration and again coming into the requirements is uh, i just want to leave this to your reference like uh, in the plain description language ninga edha poringa how we are going to convert directly to the consumers because taking the literature survey starts right because i if i'm being a cons- customer i just want to tell the designer that these are the requirements is for my applications so customer satisfaction is very very important in analyzing part of these rec- requirements is and there are two different types of requirements which is functional requirements at the one we have to concentrate about the processors input output memory and other stuff that you need to keep in mind and non functional requirements is like about size color structure physical of the particular embedded device so functional and non functional requirements is, is very very important these days and the specifications as i have already mentioned you need to gather so much information as you can and it serves as a contract between the customer and architects and i just leave all these points is to your reference and we need to talk about the architecture design as i've already mentioned knowing the architectures will help you to understand uh, uh, to in, i mean no i will make you to understand how where the external and the uh, internal components is be connected to the processor so architecture and design is very very important and the hardware and software components that will be the basic building blocks of your system and you need to take care of both hardware and software modules is since you are going to design an embedded device right because many components are already uh, readily available in the market it is ready made just the thing is you need to identify the right uh, uh, product that is available right then the system integration so be a, a system integration is very key important thing though it looks like very simple uh, error rectification bugs rectification is very very important so that is system integrations is all about i just want to give you a few examples like chocolate automatic chocolate vending machines like we have to list down these six major uh, steps in the design process and then you need to identify the i mean uh, components that you can uh, bring under uh, this automatic chocolate vending machine so like you can identify the family uh, i mean system related family designs just like uh, coffee vending machines l- l- that lucky draw machines is available in the uh, shopping malls like that is an example of this automatic vending machines and you can bring smart card as also another example of this design process so as a summary i hope we have collected uh, i mean the first step of doing the design process was explained and then the specifications in detail and then regarding the architecture design and we have also discussed regarding the integration between hardware and software components and also we have um, uh, discussed how the integration can be done between those hardware and software components um thank you for watching this video i hope it was informative enough so for other updates please stay tuned with the vstech ecom thank you